Greetings, friends. <coughs> it's Sunday morning. Hello. Uh, there is the old beast. What a weapon. And this is the new beast. And I basically have to admit to being a bit kerfuffled where the tail's going to go because obviously there's the motor. What I've decided I'm going to have to do is we're going to have to weld uh, like a clamp on here with a bolt hole coming through from the side. Uh, that will match up to a bolt hole here and then we have to use what space we've got left to fix it somehow to these. So yeah, a bit of metal coming down either side with a bolt going through that way to hold it. And then the thing about that is the tail will point up in the air. <clears throat> Obviously you can see it's pointing down because the frame has to be pointed up slightly, mainly to take the blades away from the guide ropes, but also uh, sorry, I'm just thinking, also, it does seem to catch the wind better. So you can see from here, that points slightly down. <clears throat> and if it was connected under here, it would point slightly up. But I think that's, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Uh, obviously, I'm making it up a bit as I go along. These are the struts that are made out of that scrap uh, iron stuff over there. I can't remember what it's called. A couple of other things. I may have to make a new top. I may have to make a new top for the tower, uh, but we'll cover that some other time. But just to let you know, that's the next job. The job I have to do is suss out how to fix the tail on. And then it's drilling the holes in the drive shaft uh, and getting that ready. I also have these gears. This one I think is a 28, which I might use instead of that 26. I don't want to use the 37 tooth yet because really what I want to see is it go up and then it's steadily producing power. I'm not bothered about seeing any records or anything. Well, not for now. So that's the one we're going to be using. And you can see this one, where that got worn down when the blade hub got smashed in and was wobbling about. Uh, that all got kind of ground down. There you can see how we do the holes for the uh, bolts to fit through to hold everything down. And that's obviously critical for these because you can't tighten them up enough by just forcing the bolt against the shaft. It has to fit into a recess. So what would have happened here is I'd have done that and then realized it was in the wrong place and had to, done, had to do another one. I'm just gonna get a spanner. Let's start again. That one wasn't actually clamped into a hole because that was the one that wasn't being used. This was the one that was being used. Oh, I've crappily welded a bolt there, can you see? Silly boy, let me just give that another bit of juice. Let's start again. That one wasn't actually clamped into a hole because that was the one that wasn't being used. This was the one that was being used. I've crappily welded a bolt there, can you see? Silly boy, let me just give that another bit of juice. Well, that's better, that should come out now. Something not right with this bolt. I'll get it out off camera. Finally, it's out far enough, and there we can see the recess that I wanted to show you. So I can use these gears on the new beast, but I'll probably run with a lower speed for now. Anyway, yeah, I'll let you know how the tail goes, but that, that is the job, fixing the tail underneath here somewhere. And it's going to be a bit of a mission, I'll be honest with you. Sweet! I've got to say, that black paint did fairly well what I put on that, hasn't it? Sweet, yeah, so I need to suss this out and then I'll be back when it's fixed on there. Cheers.